Every art has its own language. Paintings speak to people using colors and paints. Literature with its words leads us to a deep thought. Overall, through each artwork produced by the hands of masters, you can pour your soul out in their language, freely expressing your imagination. Music inspires the human soul, filling it with light. It has a huge impact on us, playing on the strings of our hearts, inspiring our dreams, and allowing us to show our affection. For example, I always listen to music when I work. This requires a lot of preparation. I need appropriate music when I'm working on a particular composition. For example, I have an artwork, Kobus, specifically devoted to Astana. It is called Sarearka. Musical compositions inspire Shokan Talish to the creation of new works. Today, he's appreciated as a master of the art who invented a new form of art language, synthesizing styles of East and West. Every day, Astana gracefully spreads her wings, or like a wise old man expresses his identification in directing the next generation, or a symbol of peace, a mother who holds a child in her arms, native land, motherland. All this is reflected in the works of the sculpture. For example, in the work entitled Isulu, light and dark sides of life, beauty and arrogance, deceit and mercy are intertwined. Sachs' Princess refers to a series of tamaris. The creation of this composition was inspired by the shape of the sabers. In the graceful form of a woman, you can see determination, heroism, and courage. This product has a special plastics and a special national features, a peculiar form. A person who sees this work begins to consider it with enthusiasm, wonders about it, and admires it. Each work is a reflection of culture, traditions, past and present of the Kazakh people. At first glance, all this seems to be a heartless world, but only a true master can breathe life into it. You must feel every detail, movement, and be able to reflect all this in plastic. Then in the end you need to revive it as a magician. If you cannot revive it, it can be considered the work of the dead. The art of sculpture dates back to ancient times. On the Kazakh land, the art of sculpture originates from the time of Saks and Huns. Stone sculptures of celestial deities and figures of ancient civilizations, the image of the legendary heroes, warriors, and mothers with children were widely spread around our country. Starting with stone balbals, sculptures depicting people, animals, today give the development of classical primitivism, constructivism, surrealism, abstract art, and other genres. Contemporary works of stone, bronze, aluminium mixture with silver, gold, copper, wood, and even glass surprise the art lovers. They have a mutual harmonious blend of modern technology and achievements of the past. One of the immortal and interesting arts is the art of painting. Images left in the ancient stones reflect patterns encountered in decorative art of our ancestors. Now they are reflected in the works of contemporary artists and abstract themes. For the first time, looking at these pictures, it's hard to understand the themes and ideas of an author. In them you can see the river with a strong stream and a rain and a violent storm and great views of nature with flying birds. At the foundation of this lays the people's outlook and deep meaning. It's easy to see all of this in the abstract paintings created on the basis of philosophical, psychological thoughts that consider the space, integrity, step, the harmony between nature and humanity. Presented here, features of color mosaic, shape, and artistic idea are closely connected. Nowadays, in the modern world, all considered separately. But in general, if you take, for example, the preparation period, you can draw some sketches on the, under the influence of music. But it's necessary to write it down every day. The art itself as an ocean is endless, and there are different trends. Today we can say that all of the Kazakh art develops very well. These paintings are drawn in the direction of classical realism. They include both fiction and reality. 
They can be traced back to tradition, literature, and culture of the country. On one hand, it's close to the style of surrealism, magical realism. On the other, there's signs of ethnography and folklore. Characters appearing in the lyric epic works of fiction in the fabulous legend create vivid images of the brave Kazakh Jigids, wise elders, mothers, beautiful women, and even children. At one time, our forefathers were writing and fantasizing, inventing stories. Their characters were so vivid that it seemed they're living among them. This is called a magical realism. Another example is the Kojana Sir. This work can be called a folklore. Tapestry is a type of decorative art. Its origins as a work of art started in France in the early 20th century. It developed in Germany, Spain, Italy, and later spread to Russia and the Baltic coast. In recent years, it is widely spread in Kazakhstan traditional weaving. This kind of art in Kazakhstan began to develop by Korosbek Tenebekov and Batimaza Urbekova. Today, it is full of modern motifs. If we talk about the foundation of tapestry art, it's very similar to our arts and crafts, making decorations for the yurt, a smooth carpet, or traditional kneading. Each kneaded thread is full of history and mystery. On various thematic paintings, pattern, image on the surface of the carpet, thoughts and emotions, as well as the outlook on life of the artists, are displayed. For example, through the work entitled Three Trees, the author portrays the desire to have its roots grow and prosper, continue its race of not only one person, not just one family, but of the entire humanity. And drawing flying swallows, he promotes peace, friendship, harmony, unity, and cohesion. The composition of its threat, its cohesiveness, how it will turn out at the end, all of this is pre-calculated by the artist. It comes with a lot of experience with a great idea. As each sentence written by a writer, each thread has a lot of sense. Great importance is embedded in the work. Through popular culture and art of traditional felting, we were able to save and develop our traditions. Sheep, camel wool are processed, then different colors are added. And large patterned felt mats, tekimets, wool of felt, Tuskius, embroidered felt mats, sermaki, litter, bostek, bags of dishes, ayakab, boxes, kibije, clothings are made. All of this to this day is widely popular. Original art left by our ancestors today is acquired a new kind of shape. It's passed from generation to generation. Art is like a fight. It's long nurtured and you keep it in mind. Then you cannot stay in one place if at this moment you want to express it. It will be too late. We must seize the moment. Jewel art of our people got a special place in the history of national culture. According to archaeological and toponymic data, we can see that on the territory of Kazakhstan, the process of working with gold, silver, and other natural gems was highly developed in ancient times especially the demand for individual works of craftsmen of wood and iron, that is the types of weapons on the horse harness, and jewelry grows every day. They became a symbol of unity, friendship, community, of asatayak, decorated with precious stones, white belts, women's jewelry such as bracelets, rings, are appreciated as valuable artifacts. To tell the truth, arts and crafts of Kazakhs was well developed in the 18th, 19th centuries, especially in the 18th century. I was impressed by visiting the museums of Russia and Europe. I was thinking about how to rewrite their works, the so-called comparative interpretation. I analyzed if an author was Kazakh, how would he make this or another piece of art?
Our people had a special respect for girls. Particular attention was paid to sao kile, that a girl would wear when she is getting married. Deeply ingrained the dignity of headdress, which announces in addition to luxury, to what genus a girl belongs to, from what family she comes from, and even demonstrates the welfare of all kind. In ancient times, one sao kile could be estimated at the price of 500 horses. This Saukili preserved a national modern color, keeping it secret, a deep philosophy the base of headdress consists of a crown, a top, a tag, and the rare surface. It turns out that it takes up to 10 years for the manufacture of headdress to sew it from a natural fabric coated with 400 gold pieces covered with silver. And this is the appropriate inquiries of a modern silver Saukili. Today, the tradition to order such things in the national style that pleased the eye continues. I need it because I think about this matter, about this art as I wake up in the morning and go to bed at night. Therefore, at the moment, my goal, my duty is to develop the remainder of an ancestral art, to develop traditional art, to pass it to the next generation. Arts production of various ceramic products aroused during 2nd and 3rd millennium BC. Initially, ceramics were used for cooking and food storage. Later in life, necessary things for everyday life were made, decorated with figures of people and animals. The art of words was the first to be developed, the second was the art of clay. So-called art of clay is clay in my hands, the art of ceramics. This art at Kazakhstan territory takes its development from long time ago. Even in cities such as Shash, Taras, Sauran, there were special places where the dishes were made of clay. Everyone knows that mausoleum of Alash Khan, Shoshi Khan, Aisha Bibi, Koja Ahmed Yesawi are decorated with ceramic materials. Today, the production of handicraft products made of clay, various wonderful pieces of baked clay, are developing. As the epoch is developing, and so does clay, as era develops, the art develops too. The mind of a man is resourceful, all is taken from a human mind. As soon as people managed to decorate mausoleum and various buildings with ceramics, they were able to show excellent examples of fine art by the end of the 20th century, they moved to the technique of the glass art. The French word vitrage means glass. Usage of different colors of glass in decorative artwork originates from Egypt. In the course of its development, the art of stained glass have passed different stages of technological development. Today, stained glass is regarded as one of the most beautiful phenomena of monumental art. Stained glass is a very complicated technology, which comes from the last century. In today's world, technology is advancing. There are new technologies, and I'm interested in them and look for them. In Kazakhstan, over the last 10 years, this art form is being revived not only as an artistic element of the interior, but also as valuable, beautiful artworks. Glass is appreciated for its transparency, fragility and grace. Today is in great demand a Tiffany stained glass technique, tating, hand painting glass, matte glass, mirrors, decorative interior design products. At the moment, Tiffany is used most of the time. Technology of physium is also used very often. Animal finished stained glass is also widely popular. Also, people combine all these different technologies to create something unique. Art is an exhaustible wealth. Art and culture of our people, customs and traditions are priceless national wealth. Domestic masters and artists intend to pass it from generation to generation to preserve the rich heritage of our people to develop our decorative art. <laughs>